Tonight we start with a phenomena caused by the drought. What some Californians don't know is as California sinks deeper into it, there are parts of the state that are literally sinking. And this evening we're going to show you a mega project fix now underway in the Central Valley. The land there started sinking almost soon as farmers started pumping water out of the ground and in drought periods, that sinking only picks up speed, but some parts of the valley dropping as much as a foot per year. Canals have buckled, and in some spots, they can only move water at a fraction of their original capacity. Well, after decades of sinking, the bill is coming due. And as KPI X5's Wilson Walker shows us, the fix might help provide some long term relief. The perception is that the canal is just going down into a hole, but it's the whole region around here that's, that's kind of settling in. And it doesn't. And, and a lot of people don't really look at it that way because the, the grapes aren't any lower and the pistachios aren't any lower and the canal, well, what, you know? The canal, the bridges, the fields, everything in this part of Tulare County is settling. Wednesday, Thursday, try to bring everything down. And the settling has upended this region's lifeline. The Friant Kern Canal, or much of it, no longer flows downhill. To, to convey this water south through this section, we've lost over 60% of the carrying cap capacity. So every four years, we, we drain this canal, the entire 152 miles for routine maintenance. And what happens in this area now is when we drain it, we still have eight foot of water left in this canal just sitting there that we have to get rid of. When they built this canal in 1949, they knew the ground was sinking, but by the drought of the mid 70s, things had gotten so bad that entire portions had to be rebuilt. The concrete skirt was raised up by six feet. The pipes were elbowed upward so the bridges could be maxed out. And then by the drought of 2015 and 16, it was clear that even all of that was not going to be enough. So the idea was to parallel it and build a new canal next to it. Now under construction, the first 10 mile phase of the new Friant Kern Canal. You don't really realize how big some of these waterways are until you're standing in it, either they're building them or they're empty. And it's complicated work. The old canal isn't just settling, it's starting to crumble. There's a lot of leaks. There's been a lot of squirrel holes and everything. So what happens if they hit one of those holes, it creates a leak and that's what we're dealing with now. The $300 million job paid for by the state will sit a full 12 feet above the old canal and there will be no bridges. Engineers know this land will continue to sink. The design of this canal, the new one, is taken away all of the bridges and done um, siphons underneath the road so we don't have any, any obstructions through bridges or any of that stuff. But the new canal could provide some subsidence relief. This area has launched a number of groundwater recharge efforts, but those simply cannot get water if the canal can't move it. If we can repair this, get the capacity back to carry the water, all of these spreading grounds that these districts are investing money in, we can, we can supply these things and we can recharge the ground tables. In Tulare County, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.